Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to use our Consent module. Containers Consent tool is a flexible feature to help you manage consent for various purposes and time periods, all in one place. Instead of having a single, long-term consent agreement for all your images, our system allows you to request consent for specific purposes and time intervals. You can request for consent after, or even before a photo shoot, giving you more flexibility. Obviously, you will be listed as sender with your contact information, logo, brand identity, and much more. A key element is the consent form, but before we can request a consent or create the form, we need to set up the terms and usage rights. To get started, head to the consent menu. From the consent module, you can create new consent terms for your consent agreement. If a term is already created, these can be reused for new consent agreements. Usually these will vary depending on different groups like employees, students, models, and in different languages. A term is essentially a legal text explaining the terms the user should accept. Next, you can list all the different purposes for which you need consent. These are the usage purposes, like for social media, the company website, presentations, or specific campaigns. If you want to request consents before a photo shoot, you can use the consent form. A form is a consent agreement to go, you can say. You can use the URL either on a tablet, computer, or smartphone at the photo shoot, or you can send the link beforehand to make sure that all consents are given before the shoot. You decide which fields should be visible, which fields that should not, and if a field should be required. This includes a signature field and the selfie feature, which especially can be quite useful if you want to search for a specific person later on, making it easier to add consents to images. Whether the URL is entered on a tablet on location or sent to the consent giver beforehand, the form will overall look like this. Some fields are required while others are optional. That's entirely up to you. You can even add extra fields and allow the recipient to decline parts of the consent. Again, it's entirely up to you. In this example, we have enabled the signature field option, but it's not required to enable in the form. When enabled, the consenter can sign directly on the screen. When a consent has been given, the images will immediately be updated in container, as I will show you in a little while. When a person has given consent, they are automatically created under persons. Here, you can also see which other consents the person has accepted or declined, as well as which files for that specific person have been approved through consent. If you want to request consent after a photo shoot, it's time to locate the images, videos, or files that require consent. After selecting the files, click on Request Consent. Here, you can add users or select from existing ones. Next, you choose one of your consent terms and the usage rights. I'll select for the website and social media. Now you determine the period of time you are asking for. And here, you can add a message like, please approve. When you've requested for consent, the recipients will receive an email containing the request and a link to a landing page. Here, they can see your message, the terms and usage purposes you have selected, and the period for this specific consent. They can see the files that you are requesting consent for, and they can even remove images they don't want to consent to by clicking them. At the bottom, they can either accept or decline the request. The system allows you to see immediately which consents have been accepted with a check mark. If you need more details, you can view the specifics of each consent, including the terms and usage rights in the detail view. You can filter your assets by consent status like this. And make smart folders where files are only added if they are fully consented. Let me quickly show you how. If a consent is expiring, you'll receive a notification and you can choose to renew it straight away. In the list of persons, you can always get an overview of all images related to a specific person.
Additionally, you can choose to use face recognition, making it simple to scan for images of the same person. From the search result, you can delete, request new consents, or share. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out by email or book a presentation. We look forward to hearing from you.